So at 7, a, 7 a.m., Allie asked to come over and color. So I'm, so I'm over here by the door, and I look out, and I, and I see something sitting there on the mat. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright What is it? What is it? Well, I want to know. it says you've been booed So someone, probably one of mommy's friends Yeah, let's see who it's from Oh, by Penny. Penny, Penny. You've been booed by Penny. Enjoy your treat. Create, create your own treat bag and pass it on to a friend. Daddy. Oh, maybe that's, that's amazing. Maybe that's one yeah. of our traditions. So I'm assuming Daddy, there's, there's five, so it's one for everybody. So Ada Bug, come over here and grab a bag. What's in it? What's in it? What do we have? Ooh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Cool. Do you need a car for me, Daddy? Oh, Allie, honey, yes, don't put, don't put that in your mouth. Use your hands to crack it. Use your hands to crack it. No, Ada, this is wow, a ghost lollipop? Oh, wow, cute. What's all in here? Oh, are these the fake teeth that you... Oh, yeah. These are the fake teeth. You put them in your mouth. Ooh, can I try? Wow, look at A balloon. <laughs> Look at Lindo. Look at Lindo. <laughs> Can Ada try? It's a balloon. Ada, you got blow a balloon. Those are your fake teeth. You got blue. I got a blue too. Blue one. I got a I got a blue one. What is this? Oh, that's a trace. Like you uh, put the, you put this on your paper, and then you color inside of it. Oh, thanks, honey. That sure looks like a sucker to me. Oh, cool. I'll tie it. All right, fun. If you were around for this weekend's vlog, then you would have seen that one of Wee Wee's. Holy cow! That's huge. One of Eloise's birthday gifts. Whoa, was this terrarium? What do we have that's grown, Eloise? Grass. Holy cow, that's tall. That's awesome. You're very scary. Scoop me, please. There you go. Enjoy. I'm very high on the Open so I can really see the glass. Well, I think you're supposed to keep it shut, honey. Why? Uh, just so you don't mess it up. It's like its own little world in there. <laughs> but a real small tiny one. Hey honey, I think they're stuck forever. I'm in a pretty fortunate position that I've been able to try several different skincare lines in our like career on YouTube. Just like the time that we've been on YouTube, I've been, I've had, I don't know, maybe like five or six different sponsorships of skincare lines, just off the top of my head. And they've all been good, but my favorite, like the one that I'm buying on my own is this one. It's a dime. And so I've had them as a sponsorship. They're not sponsoring this video, but they're my favorite of everything that I've tried. Um, and I think it's because several reasons. So their, their cleanser is like super mild, but it takes like, it takes everything off, but it doesn't leave my face feeling completely stripped, which a lot of times like a cleanser will make my face feel like plastic and tight and like really uncomfortable. Um, they also have like 
they have an extensive line of serums and if you haven't done a multi-step skincare line then what I would probably recommend if you like if you want to have a skincare line that you will stick to is a cleanser one serum and a moisturizer and start with that and if I had to pick only one serum I'm, I'm getting a little bit more bougie because I I really like serums even more than I like moisturizers but if I only had to pick if I had to only pick one serum I would do the hyaluronic acid serum it's the most serum-y <laughs> of all the serums so I use if you want to go all out this is what I use I wash my face with the cleanser it's just like the um, gentle jelly cleanser okay it's like their standard cleanser I do that and then sometimes like maybe a couple times a week I have to do it more in the summer because I feel like I get dark spots on my cheeks from more sun exposure but maybe a couple times a week I use the dark spot corrector on my freshly cleaned face because that one's important to use on clean skin then I use the hyperglow serum and this has vitamin C in it this is one of my favorite types of serums a good vitamin C serum will smell like uh, hot dog water and then the TBT serum and I kind of alternate which one I use first because I'm not sure like which one should be used first so I'll use either the TBT serum which is like a more gentle less like toxic retinol it's a it's an alternative for retinol um, and then the hyal hyaluronic acid serum last and that just like hydrates like crazy if your skin's dry that is going to get your skin moisturized then if it's morning I'll use the dewy day cream and if it's nighttime I use the restorative night cream if I'm like in a hurry I will use the cleanser the hyaluronic acid serum and then whatever moisturizer whether it's morning or night so that is my routine and I absolutely love it they also have other products like which I have but don't use all the time um, they have the luminosity eye serum if my if I have like bags or dark circles under my eyes, if I haven't got enough sleep, I'll put that on. Let me tell you, if you put it on one eye, you can tell a huge difference between the eye you put it on and the other eye. So I like using that. Um, and then they have fragrances, which are really good. If, you, if you're looking for a new fragrance, they have a sample kit that is, I highly recommend it. Also, wait till this stuff is on sale. They're on sale a lot. So like they have sales all the time. Um, if there is a sale going on when this video is posted, I'll let you know. Um, but my favorite of their fragrances, not that you can take, you can't really take other people's re recommendations for fragrances because it's such a personal thing, but Running Late is my favorite right now. Um, but they have like the sample kit where it's a really good price for several, I think it's five different fragrances, and they're the perfect size to throw in your purse. So anyway, that has been, that's been my experience with Dime. Super clean ingredients just like really good green packaging and glass bottles. Um, they're awesome. So if you're looking for a good skincare um, regimen, not like I said, this is not sponsored, but we will leave the links in the description box below. Real time update. Yes, that is a Christmas tree behind me. Dime is actually having a sale right now. They have a Halloween sale. It's like a trick or treat sale going on where there are several items. Some of my favorite items on the website are at least 20% off. I said least weird at least 20% off and then my code is 20% off and it stacks on top of whatever the sale is on the website for the Halloween sale so this is a great time to try out stuff if you haven't tried anything or stock up on stuff that you love already hey welcome back to the vlog okay now Lindell you well, let's set the scene for the folks at home so you mommy bear and Eloise, Eloise and that's the baby what movie did you see wild robot wild robot which you got amazing reviews not only from you guys but from critics and stuff and then you had a you had a favorite part what happened um the goose followed the robot and then it will follow me it will follow me because, because, because the robot was the first thing oh. the little goose saw oh <laughs> yeah so what do they call that? Imprinting? Is that what it's called? I think it's called. You need mommy's phone case? And the goose imprinted. What would you need that for, Ada Bug? I need that to show you. <laughs> hey, uh, 
What did you and Lala and Ali Sue do this morning? Uh, dressed up. So we did. We played with our hatchimals. Oh, okay. We played with our hatchimals at rest. Did you? Mm hmm. That's cool. I don't draw now. Okay. Have fun. Wait, I draw my favorite part. So, it is Monday. It is almost. It's that many days till Halloween. We know. So, Hurricane. Hurricane Milton it's is on its now. way. So we're all doing our preparations. It's this many days now. That's how many days there are till Halloween. So we're all doing our uh, preparations for the hurricane. Starting tomorrow. What's starting tomorrow? This cake. Oh, okay. That's and tomorrow, so, so it just one the day. clinic is already having us reschedule patients for both Wednesday and Thursday. And most likely we're gonna be off work. So, getting the RV uh, all ready. The problem is, I'm the command duty officer on Wednesday. So, if we're not closed, I have to go in and have duty. So, we shall see. Like, if I, if the, hopefully the clinic's closed and I just won't have to go in. Uh, and we'll get in the RV and we'll just drive. There's a KOA that's like two hours away. Uh, which would be just be like the perfect location for us to just have fun um, and do a little hurricane. So yeah, hopefully we can leave tomorrow afternoon, drive a couple hours, get the heck out of the way of the storm, not be home because power is probably going to go out. Uh, so it would just be best case scenario. And then we already have an RV park that we're staying Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so we might be in the RV for a whole week. This ranks as one of the least uh, favorite things that I want to do. That is change out the chassis batteries of the RV. One of the least favorite? Yes. What else? What else is Changing low? Out the house batteries. Maybe stuff. Empty that in has the. To do. I got it. But honestly, the black tank. I was going to say empty the black tank. That's really not that big. Deal. Did you get any clips of her walking? No. Look at you go. Right. Hey, if I'm not back in 30 minutes, come check on me because I might be dead. I don't like that. You found some foam on the ground? I honestly cannot remember what we last updated with her, but... It was right there on the floor? It's probably trash. You did find it. Is it trash? So, long story short, her boot just like would not stay on. Thank you. And she was crawling around more getting more mobile and like the more she moved around the less it would stay on it would it would start coming off almost immediately so I called the clinic so I called the clinic and basically basically they say um, first they were like bring her in and we're gonna recast it and this is the day our power was out again and it was just like then they called back a few minutes later and they said actually the doctor looked at it and she said that based on the x-rays two weeks ago just take the boot off they would not recast it and that's the smallest boot they make so they were just like put her in some shoes and let her go ahead and walk and so it's been another week now and she's like definitely um generally speaking I really enjoy like working on the RV, doing my own maintenance, but this job, this job really <laughs> was not fun at all. Uh, I've got gloves on, which really just didn't do much good. So we have a 2013 Class A RV and the batteries were about four years old, which is a little bit longer. Usually we want to replace them every three years. Um, so yeah, these two batteries, they each probably weighed 50 pounds. And then the space that you have to work in is so small. So now I know what I'm doing. I could easily do it again. Would I want to? Heck no, no thank you. The reason why I'm out here doing this at 8.40 PM is because tomorrow, most likely, like if I have Wednesday and Thursday off, then we're gonna get in the RV and we're gonna head north and west away from this giant hurricane that's on its way to Florida. So we're, we literally are on the Florida Georgia line. We're exit one. So it just depends on where this, this hurricane hits and the trajectory, but we're gonna go ahead and get out of here if we can. That way we have power um, and the kids are safe. 
she started right up. First try. <laughs>